Hi everyone, today we got a pleasant surprise with a June and July roadmap for Lost Ark. Well, partial roadmap and I'm saying a pleasant surprise even though I'm pretty sure that for some players that were expecting specific classes to come sooner rather than later it might not be such a pleasant surprise this update we're gonna get into that in just a moment first they were talking about fighting bots and that's great because bots are still there um, in the numbers and um, they said they even went to the Smilegate offices to improve tools and processes talk about the bot fight um, and also talk about the roadmap now getting into the into the class section they were talking about um, advanced class release cadence they decided to go for one class every two months for the rest of 2022 they also mentioned that they want to release the first 21 classes and only after that um, look into those that are very new or those that have just been announced and not even out yet in Korea so we can safely take our minds off getting um, um, the female berserker or the aeromancer um, very fast after they come out um, in Korea we can also take our minds off getting the the artist for example um i believe this th this line that they mentioned with the 21 with the first 21 classes before any others is specifically targeted um, to the people who were um, asking for the artist to come out soon now if we take a look at the classes we currently have there are four warriors five martial artists that's nine in total so far there are four gunners that is 13 classes, two mages, 15, and two assassins, 17. Arcanist was um, announced for July, as they said they want to release a class every two months, and since Destroyer came out in May, next release is in July with the Arcanist. So 17 that we currently have, plus Arcanist, that makes it 18. From 18 to 21, the 21 that they were talking about, there's three classes missing, Reaper, Scouter, and Summoner. Artist is not included in these 21 classes. Artist, quite frankly, got released this year in January to the Korean version. Having that said, I believe that they at Amazon and Smilegate and also us as players are sort of in a tough position right now um, because we know too much for our own good. We know that there's these classes, we see content about them. Many of us have also played these classes. There's quite some people that know they want to main a class that's not yet out and i can tell you this from my own experience as i do not have my main in the game and i don't see it coming in the foreseeable future that being the summoner doesn't sound so good does it when you say it out loud hey i can finally play my main in lost ark in january 2023 um, but at the same time i believe they have the game's best interest at heart and i don't think they purposely want to shoot themselves in the foot uh, with the um, uh, class release cadence that they've settled um, on next uh, uh, thing that i wanted to talk about is um, uh, something that comes in june which is the legion raid vikas for normal and hard difficulty normal starts at four 1430 hard difficulty starts at 1460 now uh, i think this is a great decision by the way to have valtan and then next month uh, the other legion raid which gives you the other materials to complete the new relic sets of armor this is fantastic even if um, many players might not be ready to enter uh, vikas hard mode at 1460 very many will be able to enter vikas normal mode at 1430 and at least start working on their um, uh, materials for the relic sets in parallel as opposed to just getting val done for two months and then after that starting with vikas right so great decision on releasing vikas next month a new guardian also king kong is coming for players that have 1460 item level or higher that is nice the throne spire dungeon this is a fantastic addition to the game basically one more way of getting honing materials right a, a very nice place to have and a very needed place in general um the new st uh, store cosmetics this, these are absolutely gorgeous gorgeous skins um, um, finally we get legendary grade avatars also which not only they give you just a little bit more stats um, um, but they also look absolutely fabulous uh, the only thing that's better than a platinum founders pack um, a, a skin in my opinion in lost ark are these uh, these um, legendary avatars this yoses jar is sort of a sort of an rng system where you spend some materials that you can get from dismantling costumes you spend those materials for a chance of getting either an epic costume or a legendary costume right um, so, so yeah that's besides the skins also uh, now for july we also already talked talked about the new mage the Ar Ar arcanist which is very nice um we have uh, the 
um, inferno difficulty of uh, Valtan coming up for players who are 1445. This is an equalized content uh, similar to the challenge guardian raid that we currently have. Um, it rewards you with some fantastic statues, by the way, for your stronghold. So I highly advise doing it if you have the spare time, of course. Challenge Abyss Dungeons, another fantastic content, but in July. This content um, is a very good source of getting cards, right? Uh, cards and sets of cards that we're going to actually start needing some good ones for future content after Vikas, right? Like Kokusei Tone or Breshaza. Uh, so it's very nice that these are coming actually uh, in, in July. I also wanted to mention that in this article, they said that, that during this summer, um, everyone's going to get a Punica power pass that boosts you up to uh, item level 13 uh, 02 uh, and it's a very nice thing i actually talked about it in my previous video when we talked about the support issues that we have right now they mentioned that every player will get one for their account which is really really cool i don't think that's going to come in june because they didn't say when exactly we're gonna get it i actually think that it's going to come in july very excited also to have uh, another um, um Express event, they also mentioned that alongside uh, the Punica Power Pass that during this summer there's going to be an Express event as well. So that's fantastic news. I really encourage Amazon Games to, um, to, to take in consideration the fact that they want us to catch up fast, that our release is a faster paced release than every other before, same as they mentioned themselves when they talk about classes uh, in this particular article. So I do um, encourage them to, to really think through, uh, to sort of help the players with, with these super express events that they have to really get them um, up there to sort of match the endgame content, doesn't have to be at the max, but somewhere close or somewhere within, you know, uh, grabbing reach um, of of, uh, of players to the, so they can join their their friends as well. The more opportunities you give players in general, even if they're free opportunities, the more you encourage them to create alts and play various classes, the more you make them happy to swap from, I don't know, a sharpshooter that they don't like to a bard simply because their guild needs one or whatever, the more they're going to stay in the game and play, uh, regardless if they don't spend the real money to get that boost or to get close to their friends. Um, um, I believe it's, it's still positive for the game at the end of the day, even if it comes for free. Um, that was everything from me. I uh, wish you a lot of love. Thank you so much for watching as always. I'm going to see you really soon. Until then, take care and enjoy.